Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we are going on an unforgettable journey into the darkest corners of the human mind. We're going to uncover the horrific case of Beverly Alit, whose name is covered in shame. Imagine a peaceful suburb that seems untouched by the shadows that lurk within it. But under the facade of normalcy lies a malevolent force. Meet Beverly Alit, the humble woman next door, a wolf in sheep's clothing. It all started with the disappearance of a child, which shook the world and caused a frenzy in the media. Fear gripped the city as rumors of an ominous presence spread like wildfire. As dedicated detectives searched for answers, they discovered the first cracks in Beverly's innocent shell. The pieces of the puzzle began to fall into place, revealing a web of deceit and malice. The ensuing trial was a gripping courtroom drama that captured the attention of the entire country. The evidence against Beverly was overwhelming and left no room for doubt. Justice was finally served, but the scars left by Beverly's horrific crimes remain in the hearts of the victim's families and the entire community. An innocent facade. The quaint and charming streets of Riverwood, where neighbors greet each other with smiles and laughter, fills the air. In the midst of this idol lived Beverly Alit, a seemingly unremarkable neighbor who led a life that echoed the usual tranquility. Beverly worked at the local library, where she was appreciated for her kindness and friendliness. She blended seamlessly into the fabric of the community, creating an illusion of normalcy that would make even the most cautious observer sway. She took advantage of unsuspecting parents by gaining access to their innocent children through her community service. Her twisted mind enjoyed the thrill of deception, hatching incredible plans. But behind that benevolent smile was a sinister truth. Beverly had carefully laid the foundation for her malicious plan, hiding her dark desires under a facade of charm. She took advantage of the trust of unsuspecting parents by gaining access to their innocent children through her social activities. Her twisted mind enjoyed the thrill of deception, hatching incredible plans. The first hack, heart of Riverwood, an incredible event, shattered the peaceful facade. The disappearance of a young child sent shockwaves through the community, leaving them in fear and uncertainty. As the news of the child's disappearance spread like wildfire, the city was gripped by fear. The media flocked to Riverwood, plunging it into a state of frenzied public outrage. Interviews with distraught parents and stunned neighbors revealed the emotional impact this tragedy had on each of them. Parents hold their children tightly, afraid to let them out of their sight. The once trusting community turned into a sea of suspicion as everyone wondered who could be behind such a heinous act. Rumors and speculation spread uncontrollably, creating an atmosphere of paranoia. Experienced detectives take up the case determined to bring the offender to justice. The investigation takes an unexpected turn, revealing a trail of mysterious clues and confusing revelations. Tirelessly, the investigators comb the crime scene, meticulously collecting evidence and analyzing every detail to unravel the sinister puzzle. With each careful analysis of the evidence, a disturbing picture emerged. The child's disappearance was not an isolated incident, but the first in a series of sinister acts that threatened the safety of every innocent soul in Riverwood. The detectives realized that they were dealing with a cunning and elusive predator who was fluent in the art of concealment. The detectives were stretched beyond their limits, racing against time to stop a malevolent force preying on the vulnerable. The pressure grew as they felt the weight of the community's desperation for answers and justice. Uncovering secret, Verbally Alit's horrific case takes a sinister turn as the mounting evidence against her begins to paint a terrifying picture. But hours turned into days, and days into sleepless nights as the persistent detectives delved deeper into Beverly's tangled world. Each new revelation gave them goosebumps as they pieced together the eerie puzzle of her malicious actions. Where Nebri, the depths of darkness in Beverly's actions are unfathomable. She is not just responsible for the disappearance of one child. The truth comes out, exposing her involvement in a series of murders, attempted murders and the severe mutilation of defenseless young souls. The crime scenes reveal a calculated brutality that shocked even the most experienced investigators. Beverly's motives, once shrouded in mystery, now lay before them a lust for power and domination over the innocent, fueled by a cold, ruthless heart. 
as the experts delve deeper into Beverly Alit's twisted psyche, her childhood trauma emerges as the dark thread that shaped her sinister desires. Yet she found no justification for the unspeakable horrors she inflicted on innocent people. As the pieces of the puzzle finally come together, the once impenetrable veil of deception begins to lift, revealing the true face of the evil that hid behind the innocent facade. But the trial and the verdict. The nation held its breath as the trial of Beverly Alit, the horrific perpetrator of unspeakable crimes, began. The drama in the courtroom unfolded, capturing the hearts and minds of people around the world. The lawyers and prosecutors carefully presented overwhelming evidence against Beverly. The weight of her malicious actions was felt by everyone in the room as the scale of her crimes sent shockwaves through the courtroom. The defense was steadfast, trying to sow seeds of doubt and confusion. However, the truth was too strong to hide, and the walls of deception she had built began to crumble. In the gallery, tears flowed freely as the victims' families bravely faced the incredible pain and loss caused by Beverly's heartless actions. The community watched in mourning, their hearts weighed down by the burden of the tragedy that had unfolded in their midst. The trial culminated when Beverly Alit herself took the stand. The courtroom watched with bated breath as she tried to avoid responsibility, but her twisted story could not withstand the harsh reality of the evidence against her. So the jury, solemn and resolute, carefully weighed the evidence, ensuring that justice would be served for the innocent lives stolen by Beverly's crimes. The moment of truth came when the judge read the verdict, guilty. Guilty of the murder of four children, attempted murder of three others and grievous bodily harm to six. The impact was profound. Tears of relief and grief and grief mingled as the families of the victims found a semblance of peace, knowing that the monster responsible for their nightmares would never be free again. But when the hammer came down and justice was served, the scars left by Beverly Alit's actions remained. The community came together, vowing to protect their children and never forget the innocent souls lost to such senseless cruelty. Behind bars, the door closes and Beverly Alit finds herself inside the cold, unforgiving walls of the prison she rightfully deserves. Life behind bars, a fate she never expected, now becomes her grim reality. Isolated from the world she once deceived, Beverly faces the full weight of her malicious actions. No longer able to hide behind a facade, she struggles with the haunting consequences of her choices. But in prison, she is only one of many. But her name echoes through the corridors as the embodiment of evil. The community she once terrorized now demands justice, finding solace in the fact that she can no longer harm. Outside the prison, key figures in the case take to the stage to share their experiences. The detectives talk about the relentless pursuit of the truth about the sleepless nights spent putting together a terrifying puzzle. The lawyers talk about the burden that fell on their shoulders as they led a trial that stirred the emotions of an entire nation. Witnesses recall the fear and uncertainty that gripped society in the darkest days. The aftermath of Beverly Alit's conviction has left a deep mark on society. The scars of the victims and their families remain deep and forever shape their perception of the world. However, a united front has emerged from the ashes of the tragedy, determined to protect the lives of innocent people from repeating such horrors. Civil society initiatives and support groups are joining together to protect children from potential threats, emphasizing the importance of vigilance and open communication. Unresolved issues when the dust settles after the trial, there will be unanswered questions that continue to haunt the minds of many people. The investigation into Beverly Alit's heinous crimes was exhaustive, but there are still white spots that make us wonder about the depth of human depravity. Despite the huge amount of evidence presented at the trial, some questions remain open. What drove Beverly to commit such unspeakable acts? Did she have accomplices hiding in the shadows, enabling her reign of terror? The cold reality is that some answers may never come to light. In the face of inexplicable evil, our desire for closure can lead to disappointment, reminding us that true darkness remains elusive. But this horrific case teaches society invaluable lessons, serving as a stark reminder that evil can lurk where we least expect it. We must remain vigilant by promoting open communication and empathy in our communities. 
supporting organizations that protect the innocent and empower victims is an integral part of preventing future tragedies. If you found this video interesting and want to keep up to date with more exciting stories, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Together we shed light on the darkest corners of human existence in the search for truth and justice. Thank you for joining us on this chilling journey through the Beverly Alites. We've peeled back the layers of deception as we explore the twisted mind of a convicted killer who inflicted unimaginable horrors on innocent children.